In this video, we demonstrate the SNAIL-1 locus report in the integrated Transpark Human PhD Transpath database. We demonstrate the dissociation of SNAIL-1 in several neoplasms, regulation of SNAIL-1 promoter, drugs targeting SNAIL-1 complexes, and several pathways involving SNAIL-1. The locus report helps to understand the role of SNAIL-1 and can significantly facilitate biological interpretation of results. Hello everyone. In the last part, we performed ChIPSEC data analysis of the publicly available data set GSC127183. Bed samples were treated to induce the expression of SNAIL-1 transcription factor and we saw the identification of enriched transcription factor binding sites in the peaks. Today we will look into the report of SNAIL-1 in the integrated database of TransFOC, TransPath and Human PSD. Here we have opened the locus report of SNAIL-1 transcription factor. Let's first check for the table of contents. Here we can see the full details about the gene, gene symbol, synonym, gene ontology, biomarker associations. Several part of the report refer to the gene and several part refer to the protein information for this transcription factor. Within the gene, we can see the report about the transcriptional regulation, translational regulation, the expression for gene. In protein, we can see the drug interactions, protein features, and of course the references that were used to curate the information about this protein. Let's first understand in detail the biomarker associations. We can see SNAIL-1 or SNAI-1 is a known biomarker for 38 diseases as curated in this database. We can see stomach neoplasms, hepatocellular carcinoma, colorectal neoplasms, breast neoplasms as associated with SNAIL-1. Also would like to highlight here that the dataset GSC127183 which we are analyzing in this series also uses the cell line, the colorectal cancer cell line. For information about this gene, let's have a look to the expression features. It is shown that SNAI1 gene is expressed in several tissues. We can sort this table by expression values and we can see that it is highly expressed in gallbladder, thyroid, adipose tissue, placenta. We can see that this gene is expressed below the average level in colon large intestine in normal conditions. The next section is transcriptional regulation of SNAI1. The blue boxes are several transcription factor binding to the promoter SNAI1. The details of the factors in the yellow box is shown in the upper line. When we drag the yellow box, we can see that SNAI1 factor is also binding to the promoter, creating a very short feedback loop. We can shift the frame and see several transcription factors like EGR1 and several other factors binding to the promoter. The same information is available in the tabulated form, including the position within the chromosome. We can click and learn more about each transcription factor by the clickable link. SNAI1 is known to interact with several small molecules as shown here. 14 molecules with references from where this information is curated. We can open a drug molecule say WNT974. And we can see the associated pathways and targets for this particular drug in this list. The pathways can be clicked and we can visualize the pathways within the platform from the report. We can also see the list of pathways in which the snail one is involved from the list pathways and interactions. For example, the pathway epithelial to mesenchymal transition in colorectal cancer. This can be visualized here by clicking on the button. We can see SNAI1 transcription factor and its role within the pathway. 
another key information in transcription factor activity of snail 1. We can see here transcription factor classification for SNAI1. When we click on this, we can see the detailed information and the transcription factor classification for snail transcription factors. Here we can see that SNAI1 is located in C2H2 zinc finger families. There are related factors like SNAI2, SNAI3 which are in subfamilies. We can also see the known binding sites for SNA1 transcription factor. Experimentally proven and located in the promoter of different genes. We see here several SNAIL1 transcription factor binding sites in the promoters for MYCN, CDH1, ZEB. We can also see the effect of SNAIL1 binding in these genes, whether it is transactivation or it is a DNA binding. There are several related matrices in transfarc that we discussed when finding enriched binding sites. Also, we can see many transcription factors that interact with SNAIL1. It might be interesting to see the protein features for SNAI1 as a transcription factor. Several post-translational modifications of SNAI1 protein is known like phosphorylation. We see particular amino acid and its position that is phosphorylated in also the supporting reaction from where this information is curated with the references provided. If we click on the details, we can see here the molecular evidence reaction about the phosphorylation of SNAI1 protein. We can also see several complexes of which SNAI1 is part of. Complexes of SNAI1 with beta-catenin is important as beta-catenin pathway plays an important role in colon carcinoma. We can also see various other informations regarding the function of SNAI1, since the diseases in which it is related and also the references which were used to curate the information about this particular transcription factor. So far, 201 references are curated for SNAI1 transcription factor. This is all about the locus report for SNAI1 transcription factor. Stay tuned for more updates.